Hey guys, I'm so happy to be back with vlogging again. I didn't get to upload two vlogs because of my broken laptop, so this vlog today is a little bit different than normally. It's just gonna be a couple of snippets of those two vlogs and everything that I didn't get to upload. I hope you guys enjoy and next vlog everything is gonna be back to normal again. Goedemorgen everyone, today is Monday. I'm making oats for breakfast with soy milk and mango and cinnamon, curcuma. And the coolest thing about these oats is that one of you guys recommended it to me and now I actually eat this very often. My ass is freezing off. It is so cold. If I would make a favorites of 2016 video, which I'm not gonna do, this would be one of my favorites for sure. I think this is the most worn item of 2016. I'm not sure if it's a sweater or a dress. Maybe it's a sweater dress, I don't know if that's a thing. It's from H&M, I can see from the labels, but I got it at the flea market. I remember bringing it home from the flea market and like not wearing it for two years or so. Now I wear it almost every single day. The only time I do not wear it is when it's in the laundry. I just put my beanie on to distract from the fact that I didn't do my hair. I'm wearing pajamas. <laughs> I refuse, I refuse to do my makeup and my hair every day just because I'm vlogging and putting my life on the internet. I mean, this is really me, this is a lot more relatable, I think. And I can spend my time doing other things. And if you do your makeup every day and it makes you happy, then it's time well spent. For me, it just wouldn't be time well spent. Oh, I just made dinner. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. We're watching Shane Dawson eat Pringles. Was eating Pringles. Woohoo! Woohoo! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! We didn't get a chance to celebrate, I was gonna say Christmas, the New Year shit! Vegan cider! Thanks, babe! Goedemorgen, everyone! Today is a Wednesday. I'm starting off by showing my outfit of the day. I'm wearing my black beanie, I don't really remember where it's from. I got this sweater at a thrift store. This little dungaree dress I got at saying na And then them shoes. Oh yeah, I got these shoes for Christmas. I think they're pretty cool. And they're of course fake leather, guys. So, no worries. I am going to Rotterdam to see my friend. I'm a little bit late, I think 10 minutes or so. So I'm gonna go right now. A heartbreak We just got tea and it's so gorgeous. Have you ever seen teas this pretty? Wow. Pretty girl. Mine looks Christmassy with the cranberries in it. That one. <laughs> we had tea at Tea Lab, which was great. Rose introduced me, and now we're trying to find oils that you put in water and then you put your head above the water and then you're stuffed nose will stop being stuffed. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. She knows everything, so she's helping me find something. Well, the internet knows everything. <laughs> I just dropped off Rose at the metro station and I'm just checking at Lush to see if they have any Christmas sale left. I did not buy anything at Lush, but what I am gonna buy is a slice of pizza at Suko. There were five more slices of vegan pizza and the lady before me bought all five of them. And they were making new ones, but I didn't want to wait 15 minutes. Not that 15 minutes is that long for fresh food, but the whole idea was that I could just snatch it up. I'll miss my train if I wait 15 minutes. I'm home, I already had dinner and now I'm gonna try one of those tablets for when you're sick basically what Rose explained is that you put it in boiling water and your sinuses and your throat is supposed to clear up if that actually works why didn't I know about that earlier let's try it out I popped in not one but two pills I'm just too impatient to even try it with one 
<laughs> I really want this to work. My bit of advice, you don't need to. One is more than enough. My skin is so soft right now. Oh, it's really good. I don't think it really helped my nose. I still have a bit of a... I was gonna try this chocolate, I put it in water. That's not good. But this is the handmade in England seed and bean organic extra dark chocolate with lavender. Fair trade and vegan. You can already smell the lavender through packets. I'm just horrible. And it's either gonna be amazing or it's gonna taste like soap. Wow, this is hard chocolate. Mmm. Yeah. I think this would be really great as melted chocolate on a strawberry or when making desserts or something. But just like this, I don't like it. Hey guys, today is Thursday. I woke up feeling really not so good. Jaren just came home and I'm gonna make him a curry and I'm just gonna improvise something from leftovers. It's a super simple curry. I just got all my vegetables in here. I'm cooking them a bit. I'm gonna add half a bag of mini potatoes. I'm adding some coconut milk. Quite some actually. Then some tomato puree, about two tablespoons. Then I'm adding some curry masala, some paprika powder. Well, in my case, she used the whole thing, <laughs> but this was almost empty. And then a dash of cinnamon, and then as much chili powder or chili flakes as you want. We like spicy food, so I use a lot. Now I'm adding a teaspoon of agave syrup, and there's your curry. And my rice is also done. Hurry. I've also added my favorite sauce on top. Sriracha, which is nice and spicy, so if you like spicy sauce, this is for you. It's also vegan. And I said I wasn't happy about my sock drawer. Well, I decluttered it. This side are all the socks I'm keeping. And the biggest amount, this part, is everything that I'm not gonna keep. Mostly tights. And I'm proud of myself because this is over half what I owned. This was full to the brim. And now I think it's gonna be not enough stuff for this whole drawer. I'm waiting for some leggings to come out of my washer, but this is everything. Empty space here, nothing in here. I've now come to a very hard decision. These are all my bedspreads. Those are not folded because they just came out of the laundry. And the pillow represents the bed spread that is now on the bed. But as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different duvet covers. I don't need eight of them. And you're probably wondering like, then why did you buy that one? if you already had this many. That is because I wanted to replace one of the older ones with a new clean one. But now that I see them all next to each other, I don't think I just need to replace one. I think I should get rid of a few. I've decided to get rid of both of the darker sheets and this one. These are the covers and I'm gonna get rid of the blue one just because I think the blue is not cute. And then I'm left with this purple one. This one I'm getting rid of, but it's just really bad quality as you guys can see. So this one's going. So now I'm left with three mattress covers, which is not a lot, but I think just about enough. Hey guys, today is Friday. Still feeling sick. Fingers crossed. It'll feel better soon. Jurian is taking good care of me. He made me croissants. But check out this huge sausage croissant. That is ridiculous. <laughs> this food looks so funny. There's a sausage in the croissant. I noticed. We're watching a documentary about cats! Yay! Cats! It's 11 o'clock now and I've edited! So I did do something with my day, good. <laughs> and I want to have a snack but I don't want to eat something heavy because then I can't sleep. And since you guys always ask for recipes. You need an apple, you need peanut butter. Oops. Normally I prefer this peanut butter because it's without added oils and without added sugar and this has some added sugar and some added oil. But this is garlic in it. So this is great for cooking and making sauces and on bread. But not if you want to make a sweet recipe. And you need one of these things. Whatever they are called in English, I do not know. But you basically push this on your apple. And this basically takes the core out. When you're left with a coreless apple and something I don't know what you could do with this. 
Then you've got your coreless apple and you want to slice it into slices. A bit like that. And you can spread them with all kinds of things, but I'm going to spread them with peanut butter. You can spread them with chocolate paste or you can spread them with speculoos. That's also really tasty. And when you've spread them, you can add things like chocolate chips or crushed hazelnuts or crushed walnuts or sunflower seeds or chia seeds. You can add some banana on top or some blueberries. So you can do all kinds of toppings. I made one with blueberries, one with cacao nibs, one with dried fruit, one with crushed walnuts and one with sunflower seeds. <coughs> All right, I'm walking around with my duvet <laughs> for extra comfort. It's seven o'clock, I've been in bed today, but I decided I wanna try and do some work, either some editing or some decluttering out of bed so that I do something, that I move around a bit. This is an absolute freaking nightmare. <coughs> the hard disk of my laptop broke and I never made a backup of all my YouTube videos, which is stupid. I have to tell myself that it's just stuff. Just stuff. I hope this vlog wasn't too chaotic and all over the place. But I want to thank you guys a bunch for watching. Next vlog is going to be back to normal again. And I'm so happy to be back. I know it's just two vlogs, but I really, really miss vlogging. Yes, who's back? Back again. <laughs>